Hey everyone, it's Serica and welcome back to the studio. Today I am going to be trying out these watercolor pencils from Arteza and I am super excited. If you've watched my videos, you'll know that I love working with regular watercolors and sometimes I even like to layer color pencil on top to get texture. So when I saw these watercolor pencils, I thought that this will give me the best of both worlds. All of the supplies in this video were given to me by Arteza, so thank you Arteza for letting me check out some of these new supplies. I have the set of 120, which is a lot, and they also come in different sets, so make sure to check out the link in my video description to see what else they have. These watercolor pencils have a different kind of binder than colored pencils. So colored pencils typically have a wax core and that means they're oil-based, whereas watercolor pencils have a water-based binder. So that means they are water soluble. Watercolor pencils can be used in a similar way to colored pencils if you choose not to add any water, but once you add water, that's where it gets really, really fun. I think it's interesting because you can get a mixed media look with just one type of medium. They're packaged really nicely in a convenient tin and there's five different trays of watercolor pencils inside. When I opened it, I was just so satisfied because they were so neat and organized. The tin itself has a color chart at the top, which is very convenient. Each of the watercolors have a different name and there's also a corresponding number. They also have these little plus signs which tells you how light fast they are. I really loved looking at them. I, of course, had to turn all of the pencils so that the color name was showing at the top. I really appreciated that the pencils were pre-sharpened because that would have been a lot of sharpening to do with 120 different colors. There's also a few metallic colors at the very bottom and I didn't use them but I feel like these would be very cool to add different shimmer effects to your artwork. Today I am going to be using these watercolor pencils on Arteza's expert watercolor paper. I have tried their student grade watercolor paper before, but this one is a little bit more expensive. It is 100% cotton, so I think that this is going to be better quality than the paper I've used before. And I am super excited to use it because I just want to see like a watercolor paper that's a little bit more affordable than you know, some of the artist grade papers that are out there. And Arteza is a brand that kind of touts itself as being more affordable so that it can be more accessible for a larger population. The paper is 140 pounds or it's 300 GSM, which means it's pretty thick and it's cold pressed, which means it has a nice texture. It's also double sided, which I think is really nice because most watercolor pads aren't double sided. So there's a smooth side and then a textured side but I like to make my own watercolor sketchbooks. Maybe this could be a nice source of paper for future sketchbooks that I'm gonna make. I'm also going to try the watercolor pencils in this sketchbook that they sent me. The paper is not as heavy and it's actually not double-sided. It's not 100% cotton. So although I know it's not gonna be as good quality, I think for a sketchbook, that is fine by me. I actually have already tried their watercolor sketchbooks before, but they sent me the larger version, which I'm very excited because I do not have a sketchbook of this size. So those are the three products that I'm going to be trying today. And while I was organizing the colored pencils, I saw some nautical colors in the color names. So I chose to draw some aquatic animals today. First, I chose to do a seahorse and I've never drawn a seahorse. I've also never used watercolor pencils before. So this was a total experiment. I actually started with using the dry technique first and then putting water on top. So I started coloring with it. I did a light sketch and as I was working, I realized that watercolor pencil might be a really cool 
tool to use if you want your line work to kind of disappear that's kind of like what I was predicting would happen that it would just dissipate and if you use graphite you'll know that you know sometimes your pencil marks are going to stay there and because watercolors that are layered on top are translucent so it's kind of unless you draw really really lightly there's still going to be some evidence there so I think watercolor pencil might be a good tool to use as like the initial sketch so next I took my brush loaded it up with a little bit of water and then I went over those marks with the brush and it gave an interesting texture it wasn't exactly like using watercolor whereas it's a lot smoother um, this is actually more of a textured look and that was very interesting I went in with a different color made some marks on the paper while it was still wet and that's when it got super fun because when you use the watercolor pencil on paper that's already wet the colors are super intense and as the tip was starting to break down it felt like I was using oil pastels you know with that thick kind of creamy texture except it was water soluble you know it's not oil so that was the the difference there I also tried the method where you dip the watercolor pencil tip into your glass of water and then you draw with it right on the paper. That's another method that I really enjoyed during this process. Finally, I tried the technique of using a wet brush to kind of pick up some pigment off of the pencil tip and I didn't use that technique too much but that was pretty fun too and I could see how using watercolor pencils could be a nice traveling art medium. I did like the seahorse, it wasn't my favorite, um, I, I wanted to get something a little bit more watercolor like, so I decided to use more water in my next illustration, which is a sea turtle. And to achieve that watercolor look, I decided to use more water, use my brush a little bit more than the actual pencils. So once I did the dry um, color laying, I decided to just loosen up a little bit too. And you guys, I just love how the sea turtle turned out. I think this is the kind of mixed media look that I was going for, more so than the seahorse. So if you uh, use a little bit more water, that's going to, of course, give you more of the painterly look. And then if you use the pencils more, then that's going to give you more of like a pastel kind of look almost. Next I chose a jellyfish, which I think was very fitting for this type of medium because jellyfish is very flowy and so I really liked how this one turned out. I used a lot more water again so it kind of matched the sort of aesthetic of the sea turtle and yeah I just think that it was so fun to go in with the detailing at the end especially with um, the blues and the oranges kind of uh, with all that contrast. I just thought it was really nice. So I really enjoyed using the watercolor pencils because the detailing part at the end, it all just kind of happened at the same time. It's just really, really fun. I can tell that I am really going to enjoy using watercolor pencils in the future. I never really saw the point of them because I have watercolors, I have colored pencils, but now that I've started to play around with them, it's the process of using them that makes it so fun.
Next, I did the seahorse again, but I did it in the sketchbook. And of course, since the paper is a little thinner and it's not 100% cotton, it did buckle. It kind of didn't work as well as the expert watercolor pad, but that was to be expected. However, I wanted to try it. I wanted to show you guys that the watercolor pencil works in this sort of sketchbook. And uh, I did the seahorse again because I wanted to try using more water, tried to imitate that looser style that I did for the sea turtle and the jellyfish. It wasn't totally how I expected it to turn out, but that wasn't a big deal. I had fun doing this and I also really enjoy this sketchbook and I'm super, super excited to fill this up. Overall, I think watercolor pencils are so fun. I think that there's a huge value in these Arteza watercolor pencils. I know that there's other brands out there that are known for their watercolor pencils, but these are the only ones that I have. So uh, don't take my word for it. Go out there, do your own research on these different brands. I just wanted to show you these new supplies that Arteza has and also just to have fun with you guys and show you my first attempt at using watercolor pencils. I hope you enjoyed this video of me painting slash drawing, I guess, <laughs> these nautical creatures. If you guys have tried watercolor pencils before, let me know what you think of them in the comments. Let me know what you'd like to see me try in the future. And I am going to sign off now because I don't really have anything more to say, except that I really had fun with these products and I think they're great. All right, um, that's it for me. Happy journaling, happy art making. I'll see you next time.